Everybody, glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for our main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Kid Dynamite's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornerman, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. Crusher's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. In the middle corner, Kid Dynamite! His adversary, King of Manchester, Crusher! Slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Good right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Protecting his head well with his guard. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Kid Dynamite's cracked by a shot upstairs. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Rusher's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Halfway through round number one. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Rusher's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Good work defensively by Kid Dynamite. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Crusher's able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stats. Don't walk in. Here we go. Round two is underway. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Up top with the right hand. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Still not moving enough. Move, move. Piercing jab. Rusher's got to deal with a cut cheek. Scoring with the right hand by Crusher. Good way to bring it back with the left hook after landing that right to the head. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Good flush shot by Kid Dynamite. And once again he returns fire up top. 
90 seconds to go here in this round. Way to block there. Back and forth exchange. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Able to land the hook to the head. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Kid Dynamite's able to land a nice, clean left hand. And the round comes to an end. Looking good. Crusher's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. A bombing right hand by Kid Dynamite. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Crusher's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Halfway through this round here. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Teddy, I'm sure so many times you've been approached on the street by guys who say, yeah, I can fight. I fought a little bit. What's the biggest difference you've found through the years with the guys that think they're tough and the guys that are really in the gym? Well, when they're out in the street, somebody's going to usually stop it or you're going to pick up something, you can hit them. You don't have that, of course, in the ring. And also, maybe the most important thing, Joe, is you're not mad. You know, getting mad is like somebody getting a Just drink and them to open up and Just all of a sudden start yeah. talking. You get mad and you go after what you're mad at. You're in that ring. You don't have that. You don't have that scotch, so to speak, that you can shoot down and get those muscles going. And let's show you Teddy's score card for the first three rounds. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpuncher. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. some bite to it that right hand by kid dynamite hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. kid dynamite's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that find the target get the combination working land both punches rushers doing well here with that two punch combination They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. All right, let's do it. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Little head hunting with the left. Not able to land the headshot. 
Kid Dynamite's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. Another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Crusher. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Kid Dynamite. Crusher's hurt by a superb hook to the head. To the head he goes with a left hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. A well-placed left hand up top. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Crusher. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the count. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Crusher's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Targeting a left hand to the body. Right to the belt line. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. He was waiting for his opponent, just waiting for an opportunity, and he found it. The counterpunch by Crusher. And that does it for this round. Crusher's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fix. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Scores up top with a left. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. Crusher's opponent has to be thinking to himself, how can I get this guy off of him? How can he, Teddy? Well, the one thing he can do is don't wait until he's on you. <laughs> it's too late then. As he's coming forward, sidestep him a little bit before it's too late and catch him. Halfway through round six. Look at that combination by Kid Dynamite. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Precision work with the left hand by Crusher. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Took one, but then gave one. Good job by Kid Dynamite. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Easy to see, easy to score, clean and effective punching by Crusher. As this fight has gone deeper and deeper, that has been the great divide between these two. Yeah, it's like painting by the numbers. I mean, it's all been laid out there. Very simple, very effective. Kid Dynamite's putting forth a game plan 
of being a volume puncher. But Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. And what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit. And hey, he might not win the fight. <laughs> he can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Kid Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Halfway through the seventh round. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Crusher. Flush right hand to the head. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Sound jab by Crusher. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Kid Dynamite. Right to the body. Kid Dynamite's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Body shot lands, it was the right. Kid Dynamite's punch is far off the target. Blocks the headshot. Crusher's really impressing us here, defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But Teddy, you gotta appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all Make these a miss, things. okay? Remember it. He's gonna throw when you finish punching, so you can't stand in front of him, okay? It's not always about the highlight-making knockdowns. As we're through seven rounds here, this has been just a fine display of boxing. And that's what it should be about. I mean, if you go to the ballpark, everybody likes to see home runs. I know. But the teams that win the World Series are usually the better pitcher. The teams that can hack defense, keep you off bounds a little bit, they're the ones that are going to the championship. This guy understands what's important, what's going to get him to the top. Harry brings the jab right hand. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Kid Dynamite's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has a big shot there. He just went down. The in-fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Two snapping jabs by Crusher. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Crusher's mouth is bleeding badly. Unable to score with the hook. Good job on the two-punch combo by Crusher. Counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And that's the end of round eight. Crusher's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Well, all of us can see the success he's having with the uppercut. How come his opponent can't? What should he be looking for? Well, what he needs to do is he has to be aware where it's coming. He knows it comes when he's inside and it's coming up the middle. He needs to take his glove and just dip it down, drop it a little bit, open it up, and kind of put it underneath his chin a little bit to block that punch. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. How 
How about that left hand? He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kid Dynamite. Pressure's proving to be elusive. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Kid Dynamite. He is damaged bad. Look at that. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. They both decide to bring it. Oh, what a whiff by Kid Dynamite. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Rusher's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. He missed with that headshot. Rushers nailed by a huge hook. Oh, what kind of punching is this? I mean, he's got nothing on these shots. He's so hurt. You know, his natural instinct is to attack back. Right now, he's got to fight against that natural instinct. Right now, teaching has to come in. You know, instructions from the past where he just covers up and he survives. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. What impact from that uppercut by Kid Dynamite. That was not well targeted by Kid Dynamite. Rusher's eye is really a mess now due to that cut. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, I assume. You know, and that's the key word, assume. And a lot of people, a lot of fans do assume that, that you start aiming at that bullseye, so to speak. But I don't believe in that, because now all of a sudden you throw yourself off a little bit. You start pitching punches to that exact spot instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting the jab go in the general direction of the head, set up the other punches. You don't want to get carried away for looking to pinpoint that exact spot. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, really wet noodles. Scored well up top. That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Kid Dynamite. Rusher's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Well-placed counterpunch by Crusher. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. They send it up to the ring. Your winner, Crusher! That's a well-earned victory by Crusher. And it's nice to see when not only all three judges have it for him, but your scorecard agrees. Yeah, it is. That doesn't mean I'm going to hang out with these guys or go to dinner with them afterwards, but right now I'm going to say, job well done, guys. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.